So this is the memory project. Um, for this project, my students participated with this nonprofit organization called the Memory Project. And when we partnered with them, um, my students were able to receive the images and photographs of orphanages in Ukraine. And so they got their photographs of these children. And then from there, my students painted their portraits. And the idea of the project is that these kids have gone through um, substantial challenges in their life. And so because of that, they might not have the kind of memories that a lot of people do as they're growing up, you know, photographs growing up. And so the idea of creating a memory through a portrait and um, using art as a gift is something that our students give these kids. Um, and so I feel like the students really took to this idea and they found that their talents were something that they could use to, to benefit the world in some way. And so it's really cool to like see the kids become really dedicated and um, really get into this project. So yeah, these, um, all these portraits will be sent to the kids in Ukraine and then from there we will get some um, video and photographs of these kids when they receive the portraits and they'll be able to keep them for life and our kids will be able to keep the pictures of the kids receiving their art. I feel like the kids felt that this was one of the more important, the most important projects that they, um, you know, worked on and accomplished and they were very concerned. They wanted to make sure the kid was very happy with the portrait that they got, so they were very detailed about everything. So it was really cool to see the kids take to it right away. I even got a couple of tears when I introduced the project. To them. Really? It was cute, yeah, because there's a lot of videos um, online that you can find of um, kids from other countries. Um, so we have this one from Ukraine, but the first time I did this project was kids from Indonesia. And uh, you can find videos of the kids when they get the projects and they're just like super happy and laughing and just really happy to receive something like this. And the students who did the portraits, they're in what class? Uh, this is um, the drawing and painting class at Richards High School. So it's like our second level class, like after introduction to art, you would take drawing and painting to kind of focus on those skills. My name is Shoshante Watkins, and this is my orphan. Her name is Diana, and, well, when I was painting her, I noticed she her favorite color was pink, and I kind of got, like, this girly vibe from her. Like, So, like, when I was painting this project, I kind of, like, thought about myself when I was a little girl and when I was going through, like, my girly phase. So like I incorporated like a lot of glitter and like I just she seemed like a princessy the princessy type to me. So that's what where the glitter came from and it's like a little piece of originality from like the rest of them because you know it kind of I felt I felt this project it was more dear to me in a certain way so I want to do something special for her. So that where that's where like um all of the personal details came in from like the colors in her little tiara and the glitter and the pink background and so on and so forth so yeah it's beautiful thank you um so when miss miss richdella um first talked about the project with with you mm -hmm. i mean you uh uh, you knew right away that you, you know, you wanted to. Yeah, be part I was of it. thirsty. I really wanted to like get on it, and I did. I actually finished it very early, and um, you know, I had it critiqued a couple times. I would ask her for help and like some insight on certain things. I wanted to make sure it was perfect for her, and I hope she really likes it. So this project was also funded by the um, District 218 Education Foundation, which allows us to write grants. And um, so each teacher is able to write a grant for a special project that they're doing. So the grant that we received 
allows um, our students to participate. And so when we partner with the organization, there's a small fee that um, we pay for the organization to transport the, the portraits and photograph the children. Um, and so we, when I applied for the grant, I received it, and our students didn't have to pay anything to participate in the memory project.